<sighs> yep. This happens every single year. Every year, I say, Jeremy, get your gift guide out. Like the last week of November, maybe around, I don't know, Black Friday. It's usually a good time. Worst case, like the first day or two of December. Every year, I say that. And every year, November sneaks up on me, slaps me in the back of the head. I look up and here we are. Better late than never though, right? All right, folks, late or not, here we are. Gift guide time. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever holiday it is that you celebrate. I don't want to leave anybody out. People get super triggered these days. So anyway, happy holidays, everybody. Hope everybody's having a good one so far. So Christmas is upon us. Just in a couple weeks, it'll be here. Or as I like to call it, lovingly manmas. Being that we do mostly men-type hobbies, men-centric hobbies on this channel, obviously this gift guide is going to be centered for, you know, the guy in your life. The guy in your life or on your list. Or if you're a guy and you follow me and you watch the channel, then just forward this to your wife or your significant other, whoever, you're welcome. There's gonna be some cool shit on here. You'll get some good stuff. So get your wife to watch this. I'm really gonna try hard to be brief with this. If you guys know me, brevity is not my strong suit. So I could crash and burn and this could be really long, <laughs> but I'm gonna try very hard for it not to be. Got 10 items to go through. We're gonna try to go through these fast. Hit high level details, just high level. We're not gonna go deep. We're not gonna go deep. I'm gonna try not to go deep. That's what she said. A lot of this stuff I've talked about on the channel before I have whole videos on. So if you want more details, I'll try to remember to link, put a card up here if I've done a whole video on it. So if you need more details on it, you can go there because this is gonna be high level. High level, it can be brief, which I'm already not doing. <laughs> Uh, I also tried to cover several different categories. So it kind of covers, you know, different types of gifts that different types of guys may like, uh, different price brackets. So hopefully there's a little something on here for everybody. But before we get going, let me take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, CrowdCow. So if you don't know what CrowdCow is, it's basically a marketplace for you to get high quality meat. It kind of puts the consumer in closer contact with the farmer. So you're getting better quality meat and you kind of know where your meat's coming from. So how it works is you build a box, explore and shop the high quality beef, pork, chicken, seafood. Each cut comes vacuum sealed, frozen for peak freshness and delivered right to your door. You can become a member for free and get perks like 5% off and free shipping on orders over 90 bucks. One of the things I really like about CrowdCow and why my family uses it is back a couple years ago, we decided to go grass-fed on our beef. It's just better for you. Grass-fed beef, the cows are eating what they're naturally supposed to eat, which is grass. So it ends up having a better omega fatty acid profile. It also tastes way better. I mean, I'm a meat eater. I'm never going to give up steak. I just love steak, but I do feel a little better knowing that the cows are treated humanely and they're being raised out in a field instead of crammed into some horrible factory and it makes me feel better when I'm gorging on rare beef. <laughs> the problem we had is that locally, you didn't have a lot of variety and it was really absorbently expensive, which is why crowd cow comes in clutch because they've got everything. We get the bone-in ribeyes, the grass-fed bone-in ribeyes. You put it in an iron skillet with some garlic and some butter and some rosemary. Oh, forget about it. The wife likes the filet mignons. I know it's filet mignon, but the filet mignons are delicious, big, thick boys. They got the Wagyu, pasture-raised chicken. They've got even wild game, bison. I saw some wild boar on there. They've got seafood, crab legs, lobster tail. It's all super high quality stuff, organic, grass-fed, farm-raised, the salmons, like wild-caught salmon. It's all really great stuff. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, click the link I'm gonna put down below, and that is gonna give you $15 off your first box from CrowdCow. So thank you to CrowdCow for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel and giving me a good place to get some awesome steak because I love steak. All right, so moving along to the gift guide. I will say real quick though, I didn't put Crown Cow on the actual list of Christmas items because I felt weird at being the sponsor and being on the list. So they're the sponsor, but they're, they're not one of the items, even though I'm talking about it now, so maybe it kind of, you know what I'm saying. I will say though, it's not a bad Christmas gift. What guy wouldn't love to get a bunch of big old thick cut bone in ribeyes for Christmas? Some Wagyu, just saying, give it the gift of meat for Christmas. I know that's what I'm giving my wife. <laughs> okay, that was totally inappropriate. I'm sorry, 
moving, <laughs> moving right along. Okay, the first thing, high level, wallets. Next, <laughs> no, just kidding, wallets. All guys can use a good wallet, right? I've seen a lot of you guys out there, your Costanzas, your big thick bifold, your back's all crooked from, you, you don't need the receipts from two years ago in your wallet. You don't need the Baskin Robbins frequent flyer card to the Baskin Robbins. It's not even open anymore. I think a wallet is a, is a good choice for a Christmas gift. I've got a couple quick suggestions on companies that I use and enjoy. First one, see, in my pocket. Used to be formerly known as Das Affinamir, now Open Sea Leather. Das Affinamir is, I think, German for Open Sea Leather, but people had a hard time with the Das Affinamir name, so he rebranded to Open Sea. Michael Bluth. Great guy, active uh, US military guy, hand makes all these things, they're super great. He makes them out of really high quality, I think it's Italian Butero, Butero, I think is how you say it, uh, veg tan leather. And he has every color and every style you can imagine, right? So the one that I carry the most that I really enjoy is the Hubei. It's kind of this top load, you put your cards in here and it's got a slot where you could put whole bills in and then fold them. But oh yeah, see this, he made this one custom for me, look at that. Uh, but he's also got other stuff, the gun deck, kind of the, very similar to the Hubei, but sideways. The rack and hot rack, very minimal, just kind of card slot type wallets. This one is called, what is this one? The calls the cam. Again, got a couple slots for cards on here. Around here, you got a little sleeve for some money. It's got the really nice logo on it. Just super high quality. The stitching's nice. They really age well. They patina, patina, patina. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Open sea leather, really great. Love these wallets. These are probably my current favorites. Another one that was my favorite for a long time, Travax. Still love these wallets. The Open Seas have slightly taken their place for my favorites, but still one that I really love and, and recommend to a lot of people is Travax. My particular favorite out of the Travax lineup is this one, the Contour. It's kind of a nice hybrid between leather, so you get that nice patina, and a metal frame. You get RF protection on it. It's got a bottle opener. Just it holds more cards, so if you tend to carry more cards, this one will hold like nine cards or more. It's fully adjustable, all that stuff. Really, really great wallet. Also, Travax got super minimal stuff like the Armored Summit, this one's called. And the last wallet company that I recommend to people is the Ridge Wallets. These are like the most minimal wallets you can possibly get. They come in different materials. You got titanium, aluminum in different colors, carbon fiber. They've got either an elastic strap for your money or a money clip on the back, depending on what you want. And I mean, just the smallest footprint possible, right? I mean, this is exactly the size of a card. And then your cards just slip in there, pull them out, use them. And they're super high quality, really nice. So those are the wallets that I recommend, depending on what style you like. If you're into the full leather thing, or if you're into more kind of tactical, modern, I don't know, metal construction, but lots of options. Okay, next, I've had this conversation on this channel before. I feel like every guy should carry a pocket knife. And I've had people say, Jeremy, why do you carry a pocket knife? I use my pocket knife like a hundred times a day, cleaning my nails, cutting a little thread off my clothes, opening packages, opening mail, food prep, best damn steak knife ever. This is way sharper than anything else. Great steak knife. Point is, I use it for all kinds of stuff. It's a tool and I use it a hundred times a day. I think all guys should carry a pocket knife. So a pocket knife, in my opinion, always a great gift. Couple suggestions. Some of these are suggestions you've heard me mention before because these are my favorites. Tried, true, and tested. Good old paramilitary two. Come on with your come on. Fighter Co. Paramilitary two. Tons of different scale options, colors, S30V blades. They also have some special models that come in different blade steels. Compression lock on the back, Spidey flick. I mean, come on. One of the best ergonomics in the game. You can't beat a paramilitary two. It's a great knife. You guys have heard me gush a million times. Benchmade bug out. I mean, access lock, deep carry pocket clip. Again, S30V steel on this, if I'm not mistaken. Polymer scales normally, but they do offer different scale options, different scale colors, different blade colors. It's just a great size. It's super thin, lightweight, disappears in the pocket, but yet still big enough to handle most any EDC task. I put some brass scales on mine because patina, 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 but you know, whatever floats your boat. Just an all around fantastic knife. Moving over here, this is a recent addition to my favorite knives. The Kaiser Vanguard Sheepdog with my card of scales. I mean, come on dude, look how cool. Back flipper, just a big old honking sheep's foot blade, it's great. This one's a, a black coat, I think it's a DLC coated blade with my card of handles, but 
it comes in different colors, different colors of micarta, different color blades, sandblasted, black, so forth and so on. And they're like under a hundred bucks. I mean, for under a hundred bucks, this is like the coolest knife ever. I love this thing. I've been carrying it a whole lot lately. And last but certainly not least, this is probably the most special one of the video because this is not out yet. This is coming, if all goes well, this video will be out on the 8th and this will be releasing the very next day on the 9th. This uh, knife is releasing by Blade HQ on December 9th at I think 10 Mountain Time, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the Benchmade 940 Osborne Blade HQ exclusive with the natural or some people call it Jade G10 scales and a black M4 blade. The 940 is a pretty iconic Benchmade design. It's been around for a long time. It's lots of people's favorite. It's got that cool reverse Tonto blade. It's really good for kind of pinch gripping. I don't know, it just fits in your hand really nice. It's a good size. And these Jade G10 or natural G10 scales are just sweet because you can kind of see the axis lock operate through them because they're almost kind of translucent and you can kind of see it working in there, the Omega spring moving and stuff. And like I said, it's going to be exclusive. Zach told me these things are probably going to sell out fast. So if it's something you guys are interested in, I would definitely go on the website, make sure you're there. So when they launch these bad boys, you can get one. It'd be a really cool present for somebody for Christmas because it's an exclusive. So it's not something everybody's going to have. And I think it's a really kind of badass version of them. So... 940 Osborne Blade HQ exclusive, M4 Blade Steel, JG10, all the goods. So these are some of my favorites. I think these would all be good options, but in general, just buy a guy a knife. Guys love knives. I know my buddy Taylor, he did a gift guide and was saying that it's sometimes it's tough buying a knife guy a knife because you know, knife guys can be very particular, but I think these are all great choices. If they don't have one of these, I think any knife guy would be happy with any of these. All right, next. Another thing I think all guys should have is I think all guys should have a nice pen. Uh, my suggestion for pens, Big Idea Design. I've talked about these guys many times, love those guys. I work with Big Idea Design and I just think their pens are the nuts. So these two pins I have here are my two favorites from them. These are the brass versions of the Pocket Pro and the Click EDC. These in particular are the Pete's Pirate Life versions, which you're not going to be able to get these, but they do still have these exact same pins in brass and copper on their website. Uh, you're just not going to get the black clip with the Pete's Pirate Life logo. Hashtag fly that flag. Very similar pin you can get on their website. If you're not into brass or copper, they also make these things in like black, titanium, lots of different finishes, different materials. They're all metal construction. They're bulletproof. The clicks are silent. So no clicky click, it's a silent click so you can fidget and not drive everybody completely crazy. And probably my favorite thing about the pens, not only the fact that they're like bulletproof and they look good, but they take like any refill because there's nothing worse than really life, liking a pen a lot and the way it looks and the way it feels, but then it not taking a refill that you like and then it's useless. So that's one of my favorite things. It's one of the main reasons I always recommend Big Idea Design pens to people and I love them. If you're a fountain pen guy, also a good option. And my favorite fountain, fountain pen is the Kaveco. I think it's how you say that. Kaveco. Kaveco Lilliput. A really cool compact little fountain pen. They come in different finishes also, but the thing I like about it is it screws closed so it seals. So you never have to worry about it leaking. It goes down to this little bitty tiny compact size, but then you unscrew it, cap screws on the back. And then what you end up with is a pen that is pretty much almost a full size pen, but in a very small package. I enjoy writing with a fountain pen sometimes. And um, this is definitely my favorite fountain pen. I really enjoy it. And then I don't have to worry about it leaking in my pocket and it just breaks down to a little tiny and it comes in copper. So patina, patina, patina. I need a sip of coffee for this one. Shit's about to get real. A watch. I know you're thinking, Jeremy, what the hell? Watches are expensive, and they are. So depending, this may not be the gift for the guy on your list, um, depending on how much you want to spend on them. For a mechanical watch, this is a pretty budget-friendly mechanical watch. This is a Seiko 5 Sports, model number SRPD55, and this is arguably the replacement for the beloved SKX007. It's a great everyday watch. You can get them all day for under $300. They come in a ton of different colorways, different strap options. It's got 10 bar or 100 meter water resistance. The movement is a caliber 4R36, automatic manual wind hacking, day date complication, about a 41 hour power reserve, display case back, 
applied indices for under 300 bucks it's just a little banger of a watch i really love it i think it looks nice a great watch for uh the start of somebody who wants to maybe start a, a nicer watch or a mechanical watch collection and i think pretty much anybody who is at all into watches or is considering starting a watch collection would enjoy getting one of these you'll be glad that after that more expensive option this option is going to be way cheaper and i've talked about this a billion times on podcast on my channel on everything. these are not expensive i think they're like around 20 bucks a mighty hank good stocking stuffer more affordable gift on your uh, list this is honestly probably my most carried piece of edc this is in my back pocket every single day regardless of what i'm doing even if i'm just walking around the house in my pjs this is in my pocket i always carry this thing and no i don't use it to blow my nose and stuff i think that's gross i use it because it's got this microfiber cloth on the back side and it's like the microfiber cloth of magic because it just does such a good job i clean my glasses with it clean my sunglasses with it i use it to wipe my phone off i use it to wipe my watch faces off i use it to wipe my lenses on my cameras constantly comes in so handy i use it all the time i love it they have them in a ton of different designs very good quality and they're inexpensive so mighty hank that's always on like every list of mine because i think they're just so great I think anybody you gave one to would be like, what's this? And after they used it for like a day, they'd be like, this is the best thing I've ever gotten. Next, we're doing some men's grooming products, right? And you guys might know from the channel and from this little symbol right here, I'm a firm believer and a huge fan, have been for years of Beard Brand. I think they make fantastic products. They're great people over there. They have really cool educational stuff for men's grooming on their channel. They use high quality material, great packaging, just all in all, it's a good experience. I love them, I've used them for years. They are definitely not the most budget men's grooming products out there. So that's why I think it would be something good for a present because it's something maybe guys wouldn't splurge on themselves, but it, they make great products and I think people would love them. They got cool little gift boxes, little wood boxes for you to keep all your kind of grooming supplies in. They got cool little combs, they got brushes, they've got soaps, utility balm, which is kind of like beard balm, but you can also use it like on your elbows if your elbows get dry and stuff like that. Obviously, uh, I think kind of what they started out with was the beard oils. They've got shampoos, conditioners, beard wash, beard conditioner, salt spray, styling stuff for your hair. Oh, they just came out with colognes not long ago. I use their, their cologne is fantastic. Above and beyond all the other great stuff about beard brand that I just said, the main reason I love them so much, not only the quality uh, ingredients they use, but Old money. That's all I got to say. Just old money. That's the scent, by the way. The best smelling thing ever. I love this stuff so much. I have the beard oil, the beard balm, the cologne, the deodorant, the whole old money, the whole thing. Temple Smoke is another one I like a lot. Beard Brand makes some great stuff, and they have a ton of cool products. Depending on what your guy on your list needs, if he's got a beard, they got a ton of beard stuff. If he doesn't have a beard, they still got other grooming stuff like shampoos, conditioners, soaps, so forth and so on. So definitely check beard brand out i think that could be a cool gift and for you ladies watching this i mean honestly it's kind of a gift for you too so you give it to your man he thinks it's a gift but really it's a gift for you because then he doesn't stink he smells great it's a win-win i'm just saying it's a win-win you know i wasn't gonna get through a gift guide without saying some whiskey right come on man specifically scotch malt whiskey society i did a video on these guys not too long i'll link it up here not too long ago I think this would be a fantastic gift for any guy on your list that's into scotch uh, or any whiskey at all, honestly, because they also have some other kinds of whiskeys and stuff on, on their um, website. I'm not going to go too deep into it because, like I said, I got a full video on it. You can check it out. But basically, uh, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is a club that you join, you pay yearly dues, and then you're able to get access to these awesome bottles of single barrel scotch that are hand selected by a panel of tasters and whiskey experts that. Uh, work with Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. You get these super awesome, rare, single barrel, barrel strength, unfiltered, uncut bottles of awesome scotch. I think it's great. You can get somebody a membership or they have membership bottle bundles where for like, I forgot, what are the prices? I think I wrote them down. Yeah, they got like a 150, a 165, and then the big boy, a 325 that come with 
like I said, that comes with a year membership and then you get a bottle with that. So obviously the different price points are different levels of scotch. Uh, the 325, I think is like a 25 year uh, older, you know, kind of more expensive scotch, so forth and so on. I just think it's a really cool gift and it's a gift that they're gonna enjoy all year because as Scotch Malt Whiskey does their monthly releases, they have access to all that stuff. They have access to their concierge service, their experts they can call on the phone and get tasting advice and stuff. So it's just a cool thing. And I think it would be an awesome gift for any person that is a whiskey lover on your list, male or female. I mean, hell, women like whiskey too. I mean, Jenna, one of the ladies that works at Scotch Malt, she's great. She loves the Isla Scotch, so, you know, but definitely an awesome gift. One of my other favorite vices, <laughs> the gift of caffeine. Yes, there are lots of good options out there for coffee gifts. Uh, two of the ones I'll just bring up real quick because these are both companies that I use on a regular basis and I enjoy. Black Rifle Coffee, veteran owned, veteran operated, really cool people, some awesome, awesome coffee. This was recommended to me through you guys. A lot of my subscribers, the ones that kept saying, have you ever tried Black Rifle? Have you ever tried it? And I was like, no, what the hell is this? And I, so then I did my research and now it's one of my favorite coffees. I always have several bags of this stuff on hand. These are some of my favorites, the Blackbeard's Delight. Uh, Wait, I'm backwards. My Blackbeard's Delight. I like this one for like normal and the Just Black. These two are like normal pour over type. And then the AK-47, I'm not backwards in this damn, the AK-47 is the one that I use for like espresso drinks, espresso, lattes, cappuccinos, things like that. Definitely Black Rifle Coffee, try them out. They've also got a bunch of cool merch on their site. So they got cool t-shirts, coffee mugs, all kinds of cool shit. So go check out their site. And I can't talk about coffee without talking about my good friends over at Oak and Bond. I think these guys were on last year's gift guide and they will be on the gift guide again this year because I think they make some really cool stuff. Kind of the main thing a lot of people know them for is their whiskey barrel aged coffees. So these are coffees that are aged in whiskey barrels and they impart a huge amount of whiskey flavor. Um, really very interesting stuff if you've never tried it. They also have like cool little packs like this of, um, these are all single origins. So this is Ethiopian, Costa Rican and Guatemalan. Um, so they have some really cool single origin stuff just really great people over there at oak and bond and they really have some great coffee so if you're buying for a coffee lover black rifle oak and bond would be my two suggestions all right i know what you're thinking jeremy you haven't done any tech well i'm not gonna leave tech out however this one might rub people the wrong way just because i know there's a lot of mac haters out there i know there's a lot of people that don't like apple and this was also one of the items on my gift guide last year but it's because i just i mean this is the piece of tech that I use more than just about anything other than my phone itself, right? Like AirPods. They're just fantastic. They're just great. Recently upgraded to the AirPod Pros. Last year on the gift guide, I think I had the normal AirPods. The AirPod Pros are even better. I mean, I'm not gonna get too deep into it. You guys know what AirPods look like. You know what they do. But these new ones, great battery life. They sound fantastic. They've got the whole like noise cancellation or transparent mode, which is really a pretty neat thing. And they're just super handy take phone calls, listen to music, podcast, whatever. They're just wireless, they're in your ear. They're tiny, you keep in your pocket, they're there. It's like one of my favorite pieces of tech and it's always in my pocket. So I think it'd be a cool gift. And a lot of times I've seen lately, they've been on sale. So keep an eye out for Christmas sales on them. So AirPods. And last, but certainly not least. And I put this last so you guys wouldn't give me shit because I felt kind of weird shamelessly plugging my own stuff in the gift guide. So I. I almost didn't put it on there, but I felt like I would be remiss if I didn't because we've got some cool shit out there. We've got some cool merch that I think a lot of guys would appreciate and enjoy, right? So we got some hand-blown whiskey glasses out there. You guys have seen me talk about those many times. We got some cool Zippos. We're about to drop another uh, and last drop of the man cards. A lot of the brass ones, uh, we are gonna do a small run of copper. I don't know if you can see the absolute ridiculousness, um, ridiculous amount of shininess of this copper. Just so you can see the difference. This is what it looks like fresh, fresh copper. And then this is after I kind of force patinaed it. Taylor said I should call these the man card of Liberty because of how green they got. I have a little patina recipe. Normally I prefer for things to patina the hard way naturally, but being that I have a few of these, I like to play around with some of the different um, kind of techniques for aging metals and uh man did it come out really pretty cool with all that green and stuff so yeah these are the same material this is just fresh this is after i put my 
patina, patina, patina on it. <laughs> so anyway, um, we are going to be dropping the copper versions of the man cards, and that will be the last bit of those that we drop. And we'll have to go back to the drawing board and redesign, and we'll come out with a version two at some point. But that will be the last bit of the man cards. Got some shirts on the website different shirts. The, this is the way shirts, the leaf and barrels and all the do man shits and all that. I'm trying to think of anything else we'll have out before Christmas. We got some other cool stuff coming, but stuff that will be out before Christmas. I don't know. Just go check out jeremysires.com. Peruse. Uh, oh, the sipping smokes. Yeah, we got some sipping smokes out there. The brass ashtray coaster combos. They're sold out right now. We're getting another batch of them in soon that will drop. So keep an eye out for those. But yeah, definitely some cool stuff on the website and the guys at exclusive that work with me to make all this stuff are awesome at shipping so definitely plenty of time to still order that stuff and get it for christmas because those guys amazon ain't got shit on the guys at exclusive because they ship fast so i hate to include my own merch in the list but i've got to because i think it's cool stuff i'm excited about it i'm proud of it i think it's good stuff and i think a lot of guys would appreciate and enjoy it so i think that covers up we, we covered a wide gambit of prices all the way from like 20 bucks up to several hundred dollars we went everything from tech to whiskey i think there should be something on this list for everybody so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video definitely don't forget the blade hq exclusive coming don't sleep on that because those will sell out fast don't forget that is the ninth which depending on when i drop this it'll probably be like the day after i drop this at like 10 mountain time i think on uh, blade hq's website but as always, I will link everything that I can that we talked about in the video today down below so you guys can easily find everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sure I'll talk to you guys before the holidays, but if for some reason I don't, everyone, please have a safe and happy holiday. Hope you all get to spend some good time with friends and family and just try to appreciate what you've got and the fact that this freaking dumpster fire of a year is almost over. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video. Now I'm going to be up till like three o'clock in the morning trying to get this video knocked out. Well, I got to have it out before this damn Blade HQ launch now because then you'll miss the launch. And you'll be like, well, thanks, Jeremy, for telling me about it in the video. And gone, you jackass. <laughs> Good night. Don't sleep.